This experiment is uh, to use auto level and draw the profile of the ground. So whenever we want to draw the longitudinal profile and cross section profile, we are using a linear feature like I will show you the road. For example, this road is undulating. I like to know what is the slope of this particular road or I want to draw the profile of that particular road. So what I do is I will take observation at several points using a staff. So I will show the staff. This is a staff which is folding and you can unfold it the length you want. So maybe in this particular region this much length would be enough. So what we are going to do is we are going to follow the standard steps. These steps are centering it at a point, then leveling the instrument and then focusing it. So we will focus it at the staff. So from the instrument position at a known distance we will keep the staff take the reading, note down the reading and then we will go across the road, take the reading at regular interval. So when we go across the road, we will find out the cross section of that various points, elevation of various points and then we shift the staff at another point and the distance is known. So from the instrument position, the distance along the road will be known to us. How will you measure the distance? We will use a tape. So we will use this simple measuring tape and this measuring tape we will take at 10 meter regular interval along the road. So at 10 meter we will keep this distance and at 2 meter across. So we will find out the elevation along the road and across the road. Across the road at 2 meter interval and along the road at 10 meter interval. So we know the distance to the last point and later on we will plot so distance on x axis and elevation on y axis so when we plot along the center line this will give the longitudinal profile when we plot the value across it will give us the cross section so we will show you now how you are going to measure on the ground at a known distance from, from this particular point, from the instrument position, let us say 10 meters. So we will measure 10 meter distance on the ground. So at 10 meter distance. So we keep the stop. And now using this instrument photo level, we will find out the central wire reading. So once we know the central wire reading, what we will do is, we know the elevation of this point, we will add up the height of the instrument from the elevation and subtract the central wire reading. So we will get the elevation of that. Now once we finish that observation, then we will go across. So we will take a distance of 2 meter from that particular point and keep the staff at 2 meter distance across on the left side and two, 4 meter and then on the right side 2 meter and 4 meter. So now we are keeping the staff look there at a 2 meter distance. So you have to again note down this particular reading and then you can go at 4 meter distance. Once you finish 2 meter, 4 meter, 6 meter depends upon the road width, then you go on the left side. So right side, left side. So you go on the right side now and this is the reading at 2 meter. So you have to note down again the central wire reading. Then you shift 4 meter. So next will be 4 meter. So we have now, for example, five readings like this. So at 4 meter, we again note down the reading. So we will have five readings across the road. So we can draw the cross section. And once we finish this five reading, we will measure another 10 meter from this point in, along the center line and keep this down. And repeat the same thing again. So what you have to do is you have to repeat your experiment this way and 
once you have covered a long distance, let us say 30 meter or 40 meter, you can shift your instrument from here to another position. So you keep on shifting your instrument and keep on taking the reading of the star so that you know the elevation of various points and at the end you determine the elevations along the road and across the road. And later on you have to all plot and draw a graph. Distance versus elevation. So that you know the profile. Why are you drawing the cross section and longitudinal profile? So that you can find out the earth work. So later on if we have to dress this surface of the road or we have to say widen the road, we can find out how much earthwork would be required, how much material would be required. So for volume computation we do this exercise. Okay, this is clear what you have to do today?